Here in Iowa, we are bone dry. That's not new news. Some rivers and streams are down to a trickle. They don't appear to be moving at all. And we are continuing to talk about the ongoing drought. And now it really gets into, okay, what does this mean now? Absolutely, and how it impacts all of our lives. WHO 13's Roger Riley talked with the National Weather Service about the drought. He joins us live now along the South Skunk River near Ames. Roger. Yeah, hi, Erin. Actually, I'm standing out where the Skunk River would be on a sandbar. And basically, that's at North River Valley Park in Ames. The gauges.com lists this river at 2.7 feet. Now, it's all about where you measure. And now this I'm at the Skunk River right below the new kayak dam. The river is mostly just soil with a little uh, sandbars. And it doesn't look like any water flowing. There's more ponds than anything. But today I spoke with Jeff Zog, who is a hydro hydrologist with the National Weather Service near Johnston. Well, the rivers that stick out to me most are the Des Moines River, the Raccoon River, and the Skunk River here in central Iowa. And those are most of the major rivers in the central part of the state. All those rivers are reporting below to much below normal levels for this time of year. Well, right now across the central part of the state, the rivers are generally running below normal. Across the northeast part, they're running near normal because they've gotten a little bit more rain there. But here in the central part of the state, a lot of below normal readings and some much below normal. Now, while the skunk is running low, so is one of its tributaries. This is the Iowa Creek. The stream gauge here in Ames is showing 0.64 of a, of a foot of water, less than a foot of water here again. It does not seem to be any water moving here. This is the bridge over the creek right on Lincoln Way. Zog told me that rivers and streams could have more water or be very shallow depending on the mechanics of the stream. Now, some places there will be pools of water, but the big hope is for rain and lots of it. Well, when we have a rain event, I definitely check to see how much rain fell and then, you know, check to see what the response is on, on the rivers. When you're really dry like this, sometimes you can get a lot of rain and the rivers don't respond a whole lot because it's all going into the ground. Well, typically in Iowa, we're conditioned to high flows and flooding because we've had a lot of that in the past. So when you have low flows, it's a little bit of a different animal. You just keep tabs on where the low flows are. So when you really break it down, as Og said, that there's one corner of the state that's seen a lot of favor this year, and that's northeast Iowa. They've got a lot of rains, and their stream conditions are basically green, but it's everywhere else, southwest, northwest, southeast, and here in central Iowa where everybody is hoping for a good amount of rain sometime yet this fall, Aaron. Yeah, no kidding. We would like for you to at least have to wear your hip waders to be out there in the middle of the river. <laughs> Roger Riley reporting live They're in tonight. my car. I have them in my car. But <laughs> uh, okay, I know because you're always prepared. All right, thanks, Roger. Yeah. With the low river levels, we checked to see if it might impact Des Moines Waterworks and the water supply. Waterworks says although the drought continues, customer demand has dropped significantly with less lawn watering occurring this time of the year. DMWW has coordinated with the city of Des Moines for the third year in a row this year to keep the Des Moines River flashboards up on the Center Street Dam through winter. The organization goes on. We continue to monitor the drought in Iowa closely, but we do not anticipate any issues meeting customer demand until possibly next summer when customer demand increases. Yeah. All of this is to say we need rain. Yeah. Yeah, it's obvious. I always knew Roger could walk on water, but I didn't. <laughs> I don't think that really counts. Today. No, <laughs> right? he's walking on sand yeah. there. Uh, but yeah, that was a powerful live shot, mm -hmm. to, which we're all seeing. And with yeah. the farmers out harvesting right now, so yeah. much dust is being definitely blown up as well. And our next issue is the fact it's been so dry and now it's going to get windy too. So a fire concern definitely goes up over the next 24 hours with some stronger winds on the way. Two hundredths of an inch of rain so far this month. We do have the potential for some rain and thunderstorms tonight. Not a lot of rainfall, I'll explain when we come back.